Okay, switching back to the other end of the spectrum, we got somebody from our community who texted in. They've got a ninth grader and an eleventh grader right now who are both in remote. The key concern is how to discipline them child and make sure they have better focus. But I'm also really worried the ninth grader is feeling highly disappointed about not moving into physical high school. And the 11th grader is feeling incredibly stressed that this is the year of SATs and prepping for college applications the following year and that he's going to fall very far behind with things. How, yeah. how do you address those kind of mental health concerns of it? Yeah. So again, that difference between our little kids and you know being like, it's gonna be great, and our high schoolers is you gotta be honest with your high schoolers. You gotta be real about it. You have to um, empathize and then move on. So let's start with the 11th grader. Every 11th grader is having these questions. Whether they're feeling the weight of it or not depends on their perspective, but the college counselors I know, the high school, like, um, transition people I know are all going, schools are making all sorts of plans. Like the AP board last year made all sorts of modifications to the exams because it had to be different because it was all virtual. So the mm -hmm. SATs, we don't know what's going to happen with that, but the board is considering that and making the accommodations. So tell your son, like there are other grownups who are thinking about that, who are aware of that, who are working on that. Every single college every single person applying to college is going to be aware of that. And so yeah. this is all going to come with, oh, hmm, how'd you do when things were so different in that transition? And so it's about your 11th grader finding that resilience in, I'm going to be okay because it's not just me in a bubble doing this. The entire world is doing this. So it's going to be okay. doesn't have to feel that way, but it will be okay. And you want to portray that story to him because it's not just his experience. We all are doing it. So hopefully that will give him some comfort. And it's, okay, you're worried about that. What can you do to change that right now? Rather than just sitting in the like, I just, what am I gonna, I know this is hard. Being like, okay, great. That's how you feel. Now, what are you going to do? You have to go do something. So do you want to go look at the SAT website? Do you want to pull up a common application and start seeing what you would have to do to fill out? Like what action can we take? so that we can move it forward. Do you need to just get outside and go for a walk and stop thinking about college? Cause you're going into 11th grade <laughs> and let's get school started first. One yeah. thing at a time might be the message that that kiddo needs. Your ninth grader, yeah, yeah. Going to high school is sort of how I felt about all the kids who are graduating. Like there is a rite of passage of like going through that experience, right? Like walking through the door for high school on that first day is a big deal. Just like walking across the stage for graduation is a big deal. So what ritual, what experience can you create that will allow your ninth grader to feel like, oh, something special just happened for me. On that first day of school, what can you do that is different than any other day? Can we still get a uh, first day of school outfit? Can we do the picture outside still? Maybe you go to the school and like, wave and take pictures there. Maybe mm -hmm. you have a really special dinner, but create a ritual to signify this new transition that's significant and important. 